Welcome to TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. Today we're at Ford's Top Secret Research and Innovation Center to find out how one of the world's largest auto manufacturers stays on the cutting edge using some pretty interesting technology. All right, so we're here with Mike, the technical leader at Ford in front of the Vertex. Mike, thanks for being with us. Yep, absolutely, welcome. What does Vertex stand for? Stands for Virtual Test Track Experiment. Looks like something from NASA. It's this white dome thing. Inside that white dome thing, we have a full-size vehicle. The virtual world is projected 360 degrees on the inside wall of the dome. That entire dome is gonna move side to side, front to back, up to down. All the angular stuff, roll, pitch, and yaw, in response to you driving. What are some of the things that you guys have tested with this? Lots of the things that we do in here are gonna be tests that you would never wanna conduct out in the real world. It's for example, a forward collision event. Something's evolving out in front of you, right? And so the question is, if we can sense that, which we can now, the question we will ask in this laboratory is what type of alert should we provide the driver that's most effective, most appropriate? <laughs> It's weird. It kind of feels like I'm driving on ice. So we'll demonstrate some of the different lane departure warnings that okay. we've looked at over the years. The first one is a vibration in the steering wheel, what we call a haptic warning. Okay. So if you drift out of your lane to the right side, and then, brr, yeah, brr. exactly. And, Almost um, like hitting rumble strips. Yeah, exactly. It's nice. Same not thing. not super scary. Right. Just right. a nice and little warning. And then another one we looked at is, again, an acoustic, but more like a rumble strip sound. Okay. All right. It is so crazy to look in the rearview mirror and see, hey, that guy's in that my guy's lane. Cutting, yeah, hey, that's right. Hey. What we can do now is we'll demonstrate what we call a surrogate task for getting you to be visually distracted. Right? Okay. You're going to get six numbers that are going to flash on this uh, LCD panel down here by the shifter. Uh, they flash every half second. Please right. read the numbers now. Five, one. Oh. Hey, there you go. There's a lot of data out there showing that you know if you get your eyes off the road for about three seconds or so, that's when bad things, things can start to happen, right? So what's out there in the products now is a combination of a light and a sound. I find that the sound does a great job at letting you know that something's happening mm. out there. And then with the what's the head-up display, it's a reflection up into the windshield. That helps the driver orient where they should be looking, namely out in front of them, because there's some object out there that's right. you're getting too close to or approaching too quickly. What do you guys have coming up next with this? There's all kinds of developments in, in active safety applications or another area that we call driver assistive technologies. How does the driver interact with those? And again, looking at the driver performance, not necessarily do you like system A versus system B, but if we put you in a dangerous driving situation, how do you respond? How quickly do you respond? How appropriately do you respond? Oh, uh, right. yes. Go ahead and put it in park, leave your seatbelt on. I just created a major traffic there accident go, behind right. me. All these people are like, ah, <laughs> why is this guy stopped in the middle of the road? All right, so we're here with Matt from Ford. Matt, thanks so much for being with us. Tell me a little bit about the F3T. It's an amazing machine, looks cool, does some cool stuff. Well, Ford Freeform Fabrication Technology, advanced manufacturing. Where else can you take a sheet of metal, put it into a machine and get a three-dimensional part? You know, we've been stamping sheet metal for 100 years. A full turnkey to actually make a part uh, could take six, eight, ten weeks. This allows you to do it in a matter of hours. We call it part to part in uh, nice. a very, very short period of time. The CAD file takes it and it programs the hexapods so that it can actually lay out the pattern with the hexapods moving the sheet metal up and down yeah. while it's actually drawing the metal down or up into the three-dimensional shape. Don't think of it as we're squeezing the metal, we're pushing the metal. Actually, uh -huh. the two stylus are moving the metal, and while it's being moved, it's actually stretching it elastically. Okay. And then once it's stretched elastically, you get to a plastic limit, and now it's permanently deformed. Uh -huh. So it will not spring back to its original shape. And there's no heat involved. This is just pressure. Uh, no, but the, uh, the thought process is, could you add heat to it? Anytime you add heat to a process, you can actually improve it. So sure. We haven't done it yet, but yeah. we, have, uh, we have thoughts on how we can improve the process. I blow dry my hair and I use heat, and that improves the process. Yeah, and it looks fantastic. Thank you, thank you. What are some of the, the personalization options that a consumer could benefit from this? Our premium vehicles, like our Lincoln products, can you imagine uh, having a, a, a sheet metal part stamped out 
but having the person's name written in it. If you had a rare car and you could not find like a certain fender that fit, you could actually create something like that. Yeah, that's also a very good uh, and potential application. Somebody can come in with the CAD file or even the part and you could reverse engineer the part and actually use the F3T to make the part. If you didn't see this process today, you wouldn't believe you can do it. Right. Come back in uh, 10 years or five years or three years and see where it is. Yeah. See if we're actually putting parts on the car. Awesome, well, yeah. we hope so. Thanks so much Great. for your time. Thank you, appreciate right. it. Thanks. So from the Vertex to the F3T, it's obvious that Ford's been finding new ways to build better cars for quite a while. And though the simulator is fun, what's really exciting is the idea of pushing a button and making a custom hood. All right, for Translogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. See you next time.